After weeks of work, Chris has exposed the backbones and ribs. So, Gosh. this is it so far? And in doing so, he's made a startling discovery. It looks like it's been attacked. Gosh. This breakage is all through the rib cage. If you follow one rib, you go along here, down to here, then this piece corresponds to this, which then goes over to here. So oh, there, yeah. one rib is now broken into three pieces. How extraordinary. But what's happened here? Here, the vertebra column has been actually pulled away. I'm fairly positive it was done in life. And the paddles, the flippers, have been ripped off. Where, where did, would they go? But they're in a, a very odd position, aren't they? I mean, they're pointing in the wrong direction. They should be, basically, in this position and facing the other way up. And they've been ripped off and turned over. Gosh. Well, where was the head? The head should be here. That's the very last vertebrae. Back of the neck? Yeah. So the head's been torn off. And there's no evidence, there's no teeth or pieces of bone, it's completely gone. So, it, it's a murder? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I think it was killed. Did this predator crunch the head, do you think? Who knows, you know, it's 200 million years ago, so it's a bit of guesswork, really, isn't it? So it's um, a murder story without a complete body yet? To find out more, we need to reveal the rest of the skeleton. So it's all hands on deck. They've even roped me in. This is more difficult than it looks. Very good. <laughs> could you could you start on three days a week? <laughs> <laughs> is it all right? It's I'm, good. I'm, yeah. I haven't gone too close to the bone. No, no. Ooh, that's a relief. 